Hi, I'm JT Wilcox, your second district state representative. Our district includes East Thurston County and Southwest Pierce County. Last Friday, the House voted on a compromise supplemental budget between the House and the Senate. I voted against this proposal because it continues the same practices that helped get us into this mess. Budget gimmicks were used without any strides towards real reform or facing the reality of our economic situation. Large social programs, which we will not be able to afford in the very next budget, were sustained in this proposal. I think this is short-sighted and sets up the legislature to break more promises. In addition, the proposal asks schools to come up with $25 million already budgeted by the legislature for kindergarten through fourth grade staffing ratios. This means many schools will have to give back money the state had already allocated for them and they had already spent. Schools that reserve that funding and local levies will be forced to bail out the legislature. No wonder school districts, local governments, and citizens say they don't trust the legislature. I just could not support this proposal. On another budget topic, I've been researching the state's pension funds. These funds are supposed to be reserved for retired state employees, including teachers. Almost all of the various pension funds are grossly underfunded. This is because for the last 10 years, the legislature refused to make contributions to these funds in good times and in bad times. These contributions are promises made to state employees and the state is contractually obligated to keep these funds solvent. Making up for 10 years of non-contributions will put a huge hole in the state budget for years to come. This is yet another reason why we must craft sustainable budgets and why I will continue to argue for fiscal sanity. Please call, email, or stop by my office in Olympia. My contact information is on your screen. It's an honor to serve as your voice in the state legislature. I'm JT Wilcox, and I'll talk to you again soon.